So in this recording, I am going to um, explore the memory system in Crew AI, which has recently, I think maybe last week, it was uh, in, uh, introduced. So uh, the memory system is what we will explore in this recording. The, this is the uh, Crew AI documentation on uh, the memory system in Crew AI. So the Crew AI framework introduces a sophisticated memory system designed to significantly enhance the capabilities of AI agents. The system comprises short-term memory, long-term memory, entity memory, and newly identified contextual memory, each serving a unique purpose in aiding agents to remember, reason, and learn from past interactions. So today we will um, write a Python program and then we'll see how these memories are being used. We'll go um, into the crew AI program also to, to see how they are implemented. Now the memory system components are the short-term memory, which is uh, uh, temporarily stores recent interactions and outcomes, enabling agents to recall and utilize information relevant to their current context. In the long-term memory, it preserves valuable insights and learnings from past executions, allowing agents to build and refine their knowledge over time. Then you have the entity memory, captures and organizes, uh, organizes uh, information about entities, people, places, concepts, encountered during tasks, facilitating deeper understanding and relationship mapping. And finally, the contextual memory maintains the context of interactions, aiding in the coherence and relevance of agent response over a sequence of tasks or a conversation. You can read uh, in uh, the, the entire uh, documentation, but uh, let's go, uh, and write, uh, go through a program, Python program, to understand how it is implemented. And then I'll talk about some of the improvement opportunities also. I also found a defect in long-term memory. I raised a pull request for that. We will uh, speak about that as well, right? So I created a program, Python program. It's a simple crew AI program where I have a father agent the role of the father agent is of a father. The goal is you are the father of a kid. The kid may ask you any question. Your goal is to provide a satisfactory answer to the kid. Right? Then for this agent, I turned on memory. The backstory is you are a 40-year-old male. You live in the city of San Jose with your wife and kid who is 10 years old. Right? So I have the father agent with a memory and then a father task where I'm saying your task is to answer the question of your kid in a satisfactory and legible way so that it makes sense to your kid. And the expected output is answered to your kid question, right? So this is the task. Then I'm creating the crew with the father agent, with the father task. It's a sequential process. Here also, I uh, like I need to put memory equal to true. The difference between this memory equal to true here and memory equal to true here is when I execute the crew, the memory gets built as part of this, uh, at the, as part of the crew, right? When the crew is running, when I do a crew dot kickoff, right? As part of this, the, the logic to populate the memory is in the, uh, the crew uh, process. And the logic to build the context from the memory is in the agent class. Let's take a look at it. Let's let's uh, click through those uh, uh, through the logic. So let me go to the program that Crew AI has written for this. Right. So here, memory equal to true. Right. So I'll go to Crew, and if I okay. So this is how the memory is created. Right. So if my memory is true. I'm creating a context of, uh, I'm creating an uh, instance of long-term memory, short-term memory, and an entity memory. Now, what I have done is I went into each of this class. 
and put some of the print statements to see how uh, the memory gets built, right? So here uh, I'm starting, I'm saying the memory saving starts from here, memory saving ends here. And in between, I put some print statement to see what gets uh, uh, created. And, and this long-term memory uh, actually goes into a SQLite database. And through uh, table plus, we'll see how that database also looks like, right? So this is uh, the long-term memory. And then if you see the short-term memory, I put some uh, print statements again to see how the short-term memory gets created. And then if you see the entity memory, this is also like put some print statements to see how it gets created. Both entity and short-term memory, what I've seen is uh, crew AI is using another um, open source package called embedding chain uh, to store the uh, embeddings of uh, the, the short-term memory and all, short-term memory and entity memory by default in a chroma DV, right? So I think this is the embedding chain, right? So this is the embedding chain uh, uh, GitHub. It's where uh, I have not explored embedding chain, but uh, the limited time I looked at it is looked uh, similar to how, uh, similar to an abstraction uh, layer, uh, similar to Langchain, uh, where it makes it uh, easier for us to uh, interact with LLMs, right? So let me go back to uh, the Python program. Now with all this uh, thing, We'll see now how the memory is built, how the memory is used, right? And um, how the long-term memory helps to, um, helps the agent, the here yeah, the father agent, to refine its answers based on past interactions, right? So currently, the long-term memory that uh, Crew AI has implemented, the way it works is when I ask, a question, the agent answers a question, there is an evaluation that happens on the question to see how best it could have been answered, which goes to the long-term memory. So next time when I ask a question, it has, from the long-term memory, it retrieves that what happened when I the question was asked before, uh, like what was the suggestion that was given to make it better. So it tries to then uh, improve the question. I somehow um, like this this uh, con th this concept is good, but this concept to use in a whether it should be used as a long term memory or or as a different component is where I have some uh, disagreement. But anyway, um, everything is um, um, very new here. Um, we just need to see how how things uh, evolve, right? The Defect that I found in long-term memory is uh, this. Let me show you. So when I go to the long-term memory, when it, um, okay, not here, it actually when it uh, builds the context from the long-term memory. So here, I go to the memory. When it is building the context for the task, uh, this is where when I fetch from the long-term context, the problem is here, right? So this dot split uh, is what I added. Right? I, earlier it was only formatted results. So without this, uh, it was actually um, uh, what it was doing, the previous interactions, right? It was not giving a unique set of interactions. At the interaction level, it was uh, um, splitting at the, or, or it was, uh, uh, instead of uh, getting the entire sentence as a memory, it was splitting at the character level. Uh, so this is the change that I have done. I pushed this to the Crew AI uh, repo. Let's see how uh, if uh, Crew AI accepts it or if they find it different uh, solution to solve this. Right? So let me now run this. So this is the father agent, father task, parent crew, right, and then. I'm, I'll start asking questions, right? As a, as a kid, right? 
So I'll just remove this. So this is the son asking the question, right? The kid asking the question. So the kid will ask the question. Let me execute it, right? So the first question that I will ask is, uh, by the way, the all the uh, SQLite Chroma DB are stored under the user's library application support. Within that, it creates a uh, crew AI folder. So this is uh, right now, I think it is not created yet. The crew AI. Um, yeah, it has been created. So this is where this is where it, it creates. Uh, so if you see already, since I ran it, right, it has uh, uh, entities, short term and long term memory storage. Just to be safe, let me do this. Let me stop this. Let me clear. Let me remove this. So right now I will not have. Let me see. I did not try this. If I if I run, I think at as soon as I run it, since I've said memory, I should have that true AI. Yep. So it, it gets created, but all this uh, uh, long-term memory storage DB short-term entities will be empty. Uh, we can check it like, uh, let me bring up the long-term memory. So this is the table plus that I have. So go, let me go to the long-term memory. SQL right now, run current. So there it is empty, right? So let me ask a question now, okay? So I will say, how does bird fly? The kid is asking the father, how does bird fly? Let's see what is happening, right? So it has started building the context. Now, right now, there is no memory, right? So fetching LTM results, none. Short-term results, um, okay, the query is, your task is to answer how, right? This is a query, but there is no results from short-term memory because there is no short-term memory right now. This is the first time you are uh, trying. Uh, uh, entity memory is also blank, right? There is no memory right now, right? So the task prompt, if you see, is your task is to answer how birds fly of your kid in a satisfactory and legible way so that it makes sense to your kid. This is the expect criteria for your final answer. Answer to your kid question, you must return actual complete content as the final answer, not a summary. There is no useful context right now because the memory has not been created. So this useful context comes from the build uh, context part, right? Building context, right? Where it builds a context from the long-term memory, short-term memory, and the entity memory. And, and where did we see those? We saw it here, right? When it was in the agent class, this is where it is building the context by getting it from short-term memory, long-term memory, uh, entity memory. Because if I go here, you'll see it builds its fetch from long-term memory, short-term memory, entity memory, and then returns this, which gets concatenated to the uh, task prompt, right? It gets concatenated to the task prompt. Okay, so it has answered, it has answered. Okay, uh, this is the answer. It's like, hey, kiddo, you know how birds fly? It's quite fascinating. Birds have special bodies that are desired for flying. Their wings are shaped to push air downwards and this makes the birds move upwards. This is due to something called lift. It is just like when you uh, swing your hand quickly underwater, you can feel the water pushing back, right? Now the bird's wings are covered in feathers which are light but very strong. Next is the bird's muscles and finally, birds need a lot of energy to fly. So in short, birds fly by using their strong wing muscles. So after this answer, it starts building the memory. So first it is loading in the long-term memory. What it is loading in the long-term memory? Suggestion, how this answer can be, if there is improvement opportunity, the answer, right? So the answer was appropriately written for a 10-year-old. It is saying, 
Dandi Singh tried to explain scientific concepts with relatable examples or analogies to make it more understandable. Use of suitable vac vocabulary is important when explaining con concepts to children. The overall narrative could be made more en engaging by adding analogies relevant to the child's experience. Right? This is the suggestion that is saying that next time if this question is asked, um, use this suggestion to make it more um, appropriate or, or to make it to explain like scientific concepts, make it more relatable to the child's experience. Right? That is what it is saying, right? So it builds the long-term memory and then it builds the entity memory also. Right? The entity memory um, so it, it uh, uh, extracted the relationships, feathers are vital in controlling, um, so then uh, some of the relationships like birds wing muscles, relationships between the body parts, birds food, and all right, it it uh, extracted all those uh, uh, entities. What I'm not been able to figure out yet is why the short term memory is not getting built always right. So entity memory and the long term memory has been built, but short term memory has not been built and with the long term memory the scope of improvement is if i ask the question again right i'll have to ask the question exactly like this that is because exactly like how birds fly otherwise it will not fetch this suggestion that it now loaded in the memory basically if i if i go to the memory now you will see that it has put the suggestion here now. It has come in the memory. But this will not be loaded if I do not ask the question exactly the same way, right? Uh, and the reason for this is if I go to this um, long term memory, uh, if I go to long term memory, oops, not here. Long term memory, if I did the long term memory, not here. And here, when I do a search, this load, okay, this is actually in the, uh, okay, let me go to the Ku AI program directly. Okay, I think it is here because I just uh, contributed to it. So if I go to Ku AI and go to LTM SQLite storage, you will see this is how it is loading the long term memory where task description equal to task description this task description um let see this is the one that is like storage uh task description metadata dating uh suggestion right uh, yeah so so the task description needs to be exactly how that task description is in the table. So uh, how is the task description? So this is the task description, right? Your uh, task is to answer how, so this is my prompt, right? Your task is to answer, this, this was my prompt. Let me go to my code again. So your task would be here, yeah, right? Uh, uh, your the task right your task is to answer the question so it puts a question also right in the task description so if i ask the question in a different way it will not be able to fetch it because it says where task description is a task description here also i think some type of embedding matching should have been there because uh, very rarely we ask a question, the same question in the same way every time, right? So that is one of the improvement opportunity. Let me go back now. So the memory has been built. Now let me ask this question again. And since we know that the long-term memory has a problem, let me ask the question exactly like how we uh, did it. Now when I run it, see how it is building the context. 
See, it uh, fetch the uh, LLM results. It fetch the uh, suggestion, right? Uh, these are the suggestions that was fetched, right? And then uh, there is no short term because short term uh, memory was not uh, stored. Um, then the entities are, um, uh, these are the entity results, but flight natural phenomena, right? And now if you see the task prompt, we'll have the long-term memory, the suggestion from the previous uh, question and the entity memory, right? These are the two that gets attached to my task prompt now. And now it gives me answer. Let's see if it gives a better answer now. So the suggestion was, uh, try to explain scientific concepts with relatable examples or analogies to make it more understandable. Use of suitable vocabulary is important when explaining concepts to children, right? Let's see. You know, when you throw a paper airplane right here, right? So it is giving some examples, right? Which was actually the uh, suggestion from the previous question. Try to explain scientific concepts with relatable examples or analogies, right? So it has already started improving the answer based on the previous uh, suggestion. It goes up into there before it comes back down. That's a bit like how words fly, right? And then again, it starts saving it to memory. Right? That is a concept. That is how um, the memory is uh, uh, has been implemented in Cruei. And that's all I wanted to show you today. Thank you.